If you want to understand today's cars, you need to look at their mechanics, electronics, and software. This knowledge allows you to repair complicated faults as well as retrofit cars with new devices or controllers. This knowledge also allows you to create your own controllers, modules and display vehicle information, or design functions that are not included in the original equipment. Feel free to learn technology. Car hacking. On the example of Mercedes M-Class W163, in today's series opening section of the Digital Bus Basics, also known as CAN Network. The W163 model, the Mercedes M-Class, was produced in the years 1997 to 2004. In 2002, it underwent a facelift and thorough system changes, especially in terms of electronic systems. The common rail cartridge injection system was managed by a CDI controller, known to experts as Bosch EDC-15C6. Bosch ABS, ESP Anti Lock Brake System. Sensor suitable for longitudinal and lateral acceleration in the CAN network. Automatic gearbox with EGS-5 control unit. Four x four drive controller, mean transfer case. Electronized gear selector. Automatic air conditioning. Radio command. AAM body control and EAM central electronics, including immobilizer functions, lower button module, airbag system, and rain sensor. These are computers that manage the automation and functionality of the vehicle. The controllers are connected with each other by the CAN bus. Each computer transmits some information. For example, this frame shows the work of the starter and the speed of the wheels. This frame is responsible for the status of doors, covers, lights, wipers and the driving state. This message communicates speed limiter status and starter operation. Some of this information is more important, others less important. Each of such messages has its own individual number. It allows you to break through the information thicket. This overload of information is because the drivers broadcast independently according to their own internal algorithms and programs. Some messages are more frequent than others. Those important in terms of safety or drive management appear every 10 milliseconds, 
others less important every 100 milliseconds or every second. In the event that the bus becomes free and two or more nodes transmit at the same time, the so-called arbitration wins. So a computer that gives its identifier and breaks the bus faster with the logical zero potential, mean ground. How it works. Each number is coded in a binary system, mean the controller with the number 200 has 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 in the binary system and the computer with the number 230 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. The one with the identifier 200 penetrates the network faster with binary 0. Therefore, the computer with the number 230 transmitting at the same time goes into the listening state, and together with other computers it can use the message sent by the computer with number 200. Let's look at this simple circuit. It symbolizes the CAN bus output circuit. If the computer transmits a logic 1, this is the 5 volt potential given by the resistor. In the network there is 5 volts on this cable and all computers see logical 1. But if any computer during such a pulse with a potential of 5 volts suddenly gives a logical 0, mean short circuits the network to ground, then the first computer is no longer transmitting. He found that despite transmit 1, the network has changed to logical 0, so he knows he has lost the arbitration. Time to switch to listening. Protection against electromagnetic interference as signal duplication and phase reversal. and also twisting the wires. Protection against wave reflection in long cables is the use of terminating resistors at the ends of the network. Protection against short circuit to ground or 5 volts is the use of intermediate potentials. However, the principle of TTL logic, mean 0 volts and 5 volts, still applies to the microprocessor side of automotive computers. In the following episodes, we will learn about the architecture of the CAN bus, the method of sniffing the network, the tool needed for acquisition and data analysis, methods of decoding messages, and using the obtained data for various purposes. I cordially encourage you to subscribe and share this knowledge as many people as possible to raise the level of knowledge and awareness of the operation of modern vehicles.